Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about spring perfumes. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a like and don't forget to let me know what your scent of the day is. Now, let's get into the lipstick first. This <laughs> lip gloss actually is by Fenty and it is called Fusia Flex. I have seen this everywhere on Instagram and I am truly obsessed. That is the color. Let me show you properly. That is the color. It's like a purple color. Although it's got a lot of shimmer to you guys can see it on my lips. Mm -mm -mm. I actually used the chestnut lip liner by MAC, which I've got here. It's kind of like a purpley type of color, like a purpley dark brown. These together are fantastic. I love the feel of all of the Fenty lip gloss, but I must say this is my favorite. You guys know how much I love to wear red, but I'm kind of switching it up a bit to like a purpley kind of color and I'm really loving it. Um, I know I told you guys I'm going to talk to you about Essence, which I'm still going to do, but it's not going to be in a vlog style because i find that a lot of people do not really watch my vlogs i think i may need to create a completely different channel to do vlogs and more personal talks and conversations let me know if i should do that or if i should do it on this channel like let me know what you guys think and then i'll take it from there um, but there definitely will be perfumes that i really love or brands that i've discovered at essence um, if not this week, <laughs> it will be the following week because it's been really hectic and finding the time to edit the videos has been very, very tedious for me, but it will be coming very soon. Now, let's talk about the perfumes. I, I have been waiting for spring to arrive because I am so sick of the cold. You guys know I love my autumn. I do like winter, but this winter was really giving, a, it, it was a bit of a challenging one for me. It was very, very, very cold. I had so many colds throughout. I think this is the this is this has been the coldest winter for me in like the last few years so i'm really excited for spring and i have around six or seven perfumes to share this is not going to be a long video for all you lovely people that want long videos it's going to take a long time for me to edit them and i feel like a lot of people have short attention spam eg myself and i just don't want the videos to, to be too long i want to keep it nice and sweet and precise um I'm going to start with Passessoire by BDK. Now, you guys know I get so many dents in perfumes that I love because I use them. Now, Passessoire is a perfume that I loved it. That's why I bought a full bottle. But something happened with the note of coins in this perfume that began to really disturb my nose. But I rediscovered my love for it. This, to me, is a super sweet, fruity woody very very sweet addictive kind of perfume i absolutely love the notes in this perfume are spot on if you are like me and you have an issue with the note of queens you may need to try this out before you actually buy the longevity on this is powerful this is like a beast mode perfume that is inoffensive perfect for work perfect for every day i would actually say this is an all year round scent but for me I kind of think of Passessoire as that spring, like, you know, when you're just wearing your white dress and you've got your nice sandals and you just look nice, clean and fresh. This is the perfume I imagine with that kind of a look and I just love it so much. There will definitely be a dent because this spring, I'm going to go ham on this perfume. So once again, that is Passessoire by BDK. The favorite by Pen Halligans. Like, check out this bottle, guys. This perfume is so womanly. This is not a girly scent. This is for a woman. This is an elegant, sweet, powdery, floral, super, super addictive perfume. I love 
to wear this in the spring and summer months i love to wear this to work i love to wear this to a picnic on a girly date on a date date like i just think it's a very easy grabbing scent that smells so expensive you guys already know penhaligons do not do cheap smelling perfume you have to be that girl to actually enjoy the scent of penhaligons i feel like this one is the favorite for a reason it's literally a lot of people's favorites from the entire line and i feel like if you are someone that likes um chance or tundra by chanel you are going to love this one even more this is really really long lasting it's not a huge projector but people will smell you wearing this perfume is perfect for a day-to-day -day basis it's great for work it's extremely versatile for this time of the year it's one that i'm going to wear all the way until the beginning of autumn and i highly recommend you get your nose on it is it blind buy safe absolutely i would always say try a perfume before you buy but in this case you can blind buy if you trust me and you love a perfume that smells like what i've described you are going to absolutely adore the favorite by Finn Halligans. A Trap Res by Louis Vuitton. Now this, first of all, this is pricey. This is very, very pricey. And I personally think it's worth it because it's quite long lasting. It smells really sweet. It's got a note of lychee in the opening, but it's not like the lychee in, oh, it smells lovely. It's not like the lychee in the Lina. The lychee here is so subtle it's juicy it's sweet it's got some rose so you get some florals it's such a feminine kind of scent that i feel like it's just perfect for this time of the year if you are someone that likes um perfumes like very good girl by carolina herrera and also if you kind of like delina but you wish that the light she wasn't so tart you would absolutely love this one this is one of their best sellers as far as i'm aware and it has a note of cacao which i didn't detect at first but much later later into wearing this perfume severally i just realized the cacao is there but it's super super soft and subtle you can smell it but the peony and the Turkish rose definitely overrides the cacao but this is a beautiful perfume if you want to smell fresh clean sweet and feminine a trap rev is the perfume for you moving on to eden sparkling lychee 39 by kali now this has keynotes of black currant sparkling lychee rose candied violet sugared amber and sandalwood when i first got this perfume immediately i thought about my daughter i thought this is a perfume that she would love my daughter is a teenager and she loves perfumes like this this is the ultimate sweet girly fun and playful kind of perfume i found myself taking this back from my child yes i did i gave it to her but I took it right back because i wore it a few days last week and i was really taken back it's really really lovely and it lasts so long on my skin it didn't at first or maybe i didn't spray enough you do have to overspray though i will say that you have to overspray if you want this one to project it does die down after the first i want to say hour or two people may not smell you but you should still smell yourself this is amazing layered with eating uh, juicy apple oh my god and if you now top it up with vanilla 28 ooh it smells amazing this is a very sweet like i said it's a fun sweet juicy lychee kind of scent it actually gives a sparkling effect it's very light it's very fluff fluffy it's very airy a lot of people say this disappears after a short time and i can't really speak on people people's experiences but for me this actually grew on me it wasn't like oh my god i was blown away i've never smelled anything like this before it wasn't anything like that but it became one that i just wanted to smell over and over and over again and when my daughter wears this it lasts on her for the whole day like i smell her when she's going to school and when she comes back from school she still smells like this this is so beautiful again it's one that i find to be more for the younger people i feel like this is for the gen z's but i do wear it and i think 
it's a beautiful scent but if you want that longevity and if you want it to be a little bit more projecting i suggest layering it like kayali is all about layering their perfumes you layer all their perfumes together and it smells amazing like i said vanilla 28 eating juicy apple and eating sparkly lychee together you are going to absolutely enjoy the perfume so the next perfume is love don't be shy extreme by killian i have been waiting to pull this one out i will say this though this is not just spring summer this to me is an all year round scent but the way the notes break down is in this perfume it just makes me think of spring now if you like love don't be shy but you think oh it's a bit too sweet this is a way better formulation it's a much better flanker it's such a wonderful smelling scent that isn't too sweet it's not too cloying you still get the marshmallow you still get that vanilla you get a beautifully sweet white floral perfume with a lot of orange blossom and rose what makes this stand out from the original love don't be shy is the rose in here it's so prominent it's so pretty this is not a granified rose this is a young and modern smelling rose perfume but you get a lot of the gourmands and it smells fresh it smells elevating it smells it smells uplifting and i just love it the longevity on this is literally and all they send this is an eight plus hour perfume and it doesn't project immensely but people will still smell you it's not offensive in any way like i said it's not too sweet thank goodness although for me i love the sweetness and love don't be shy but the way they've done this i feel like they really took love don't be shy to a different level to another level and i'm not mad at it i feel like you have to smell this first though before you buy killian prices are not cheap so please try to get your nose on this if you can before you buy do not blind buy <laughs> i beg you do not blind buy but if you like a sweet white floral with some rose some marshmallow and orange blossom check out love don't be shy extreme next we have dolce garden by dolce and gabbana now i have been saving the last <laughs> of this perfume because i can't find this now please tell me has this been discontinued does anyone know the story of dolce garden because i can't find it anywhere i love this i love the note of frangipani in this perfume i love the note of coconut and i'm sure you guys are thinking coconut abby doesn't like coconuts and yes that's right i'm not a biggest i'm not the biggest fan of coconut perfumes but there's something really really nice about this coconut it, it gives me more like a coconut milk as opposed to a scratchy type of coconut i really love this it's fruity it's fresh it's super super sweet the most prominent note to me is that coconut frangipani and vanilla if you like those kind of notes you are going to love this perfume if you can find this perfume please buy it and buy me one too so that is dolce garden by dolce and gabbana the next perfume is bada freak by viredo now there was a big big hype around this perfume i think it was around 2020 2021 slash 2022 even before that people absolutely loved this and because everybody was raving about it i didn't want it i was like nope i do not want this perfume it's just been hyped i am not gonna buy it but then i succumbed i succumbed and here i am with the freak in my hand i freaking love this this is an aromatic fresh citrusy woody scent that smells so addictive perfect for a man and a woman like i share this with my husband uh actually no i don't really like to share this with my husband he's worn it a few times but dare i say it smells really good on me and it smells good on him too but i feel like it's one that you can easily share with your partner this is a beautiful scent this is the perfect perfume for spring and summer if you have not got your nose of on bow the freak by now I don't know what you're waiting for because this is definitely a delectable super fresh it's got that note of vetiver and vetiver to me always seems to pull kind of masculine in perfumes but it doesn't pull too masculine in this one i think this is such a well balanced a well robust kind of perfume i'm obsessed and this is once again by the freak by byredo now the last perfume is, is super super new to my collection and it was one of my favorites by lancome and it is 
la vie a bell iris absolute yes i know i don't like la vie a bell i do not like the original la vie a bell at all that perfume does nothing for me but this one on the other hand does everything right this has fig it's got um some orange blossom black currant you guys know how much i love orange blossom i feel like this is the best <laughs> la vie a bell actually i love the oud one as well the newer one with the gold bottle i love that too but there's something really lovely about this one i love a powdery perfume to me powdery scents just gives a sense of elegance and i find a lot of powdery perfumes really work well with my skin chemistry and this one works really well with me this is beautiful i got a compliment from my husband now the thing is people would be like okay compliments from your husband doesn't count or from your partner yes it does count that's the only that's the only compliment that matters to me and because i have so many perfumes my husband is used to me smelling nice he's nothing new here so when i get perfumes and i spray them and it can actually detect that actually this is a new scent i've never smelled this before this smells really good it makes me feel so good because i just enjoy compliments from my husband period i went out to actually collect my mail from the mailman and the mailman said i smell good and i was like oh <laughs> thank you so this definitely is a compliment magnet it smells so good but you have to like the note of iris like the iris hair is top tier is such a lovely scent that iris and that fig is giving it everything that i want it to give so this is la vie a bell iris absolute so my lovelies those are my picks for spring for now there's gonna be loads more spring videos coming your way so make sure you stay tuned thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye